Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Motives Monday session tonight. Um, don't know how this is on the second screen. Um, so my name is Lisa Martin, and I just wanted to sort of walk you through the marketing plan behind our brand. Um, I'm sure tonight we have some guests on the webinar that are evaluating our business plan for the first time. Um, if that is you, welcome. And I uh, just want to say thank you for taking the time and congratulations on, you know, being open-minded about doing something for yourself. Um, I also want to make a point to encourage you to make sure and book a follow-up with whoever invited you on tonight's webinar. Make sure that, you know, even if you think at the end, okay, I got this, you know, usually in the middle of the night or the next morning, uh, some questions start to pop into your mind. So if you schedule time, even if it's just a phone call to get your questions answered in the next, you know, 24 to 48 hours, um, I think that is a great idea and you can continue your evaluation approach. Um, so a little bit about me. I have been partnered with the brand really since uh, we launched Motives by Lauren Reidinger, which was in 2008. Um, I've been partnered with the company longer than that, actually, um, because I was a product of the product myself. I had some incredible results with skincare um, and evolved into cosmetics. And I actually partnered with this company when I was in college. And I was introduced to our company through my parents, actually. So um, definitely, uh, you know, I think a very personal business and something that we can be proud to uh you know, include our family on, and it's really an asset that we can build uh, to leave with our children. It's a it's a willable asset that can you know provide for your family for generations to come, which I think is super powerful. Um, I did meet my husband in the business as well, um, and I'll sort of connect those dots because Motives is one brand or one division of a larger uh, parent company, which is Market America. So, you know, this is a picture of Lauren Reidinger and Lala Anthony, and, you know, our mission statement is really just all about people empowering people, and we want to, you know, help people look and feel their best while empowering them uh, or giving them the opportunity to create a lifestyle they've always dreamed about by partnering with our brand. Um, and you'll see as we go through the numbers in the marketing plan that, um, you know, this is very different than a, a direct sales type company. It's it's not a multi-level marketing pay structure. We don't get paid to recruit. We don't get paid percentages off of levels. Um, it's more sort of advertising dollars being allocated differently, if you will. Um, and why I bring that up, that point up, is if you think about it, you know, beauty is big business, right? And, you know, one of the recent statistics I came across was that worldwide, the beauty and cosmetic market is estimated to generate $445 billion in sales every year, right? And the U.S., I mean, we are a global company, you'll see that, but just in the U.S., uh, which is where um, I'm from, we have 24% of global cosmetic markets. So if you're just focusing on that alone, that's over $60 billion um, of consumer income that they're spending on products to make themselves look and feel beautiful. So obviously we can sort of position ourselves in the marketplace. I do want to point out that when I started working with our brand, that number was about 52 billion and now it's 62 billion. So obviously it's growing by leaps and bounds and that's been in about a 10 year time frame. So really, you know, I feel like it's perfect positioning um, for us to, to leverage the beauty industry as an entrepreneur. Now, my background's in marketing. Um, I love education. I love market research. I love being creative about how to connect with consumers. I'm not a professional artist. I have no desire to be, uh, but I'm able to partner with professional artists and even um, my sort of um, passion project, if you will, is also working with um, businesses in the beauty industry in a traditional business space so like a b2b uh, type leverage and i'll talk about that so really we all know that people spend a lot of money to look and feel good anti-aging is an entirely different um you know industry that does tens of millions of dollars annually as well in sales but here's the thing uh, when you see the numbers behind our marketing plan really how it works is that we're just positioning ourselves um in the marketplace where 
we partner with manufacturers that spend their resources, their budget, their you know time and energy into creating a really great product. And so, you know, specifically with some of our skincare lines, we have a lot of uh, patented ingredients that have clinical studies behind the patent ingredients um, to back up the claims. And so, our products work. They do what they say they're going to do. Uh, they offer solutions to people. So, we really have the creme de la creme of product as a product broker. And then what we do in the field as business owners with Motives Cosmetics and Market America is we are the marketing mouthpiece. So what we do is we tell our friends about it. We, you know, go out and network and meet beauty industry professionals. We service our friends and family. And instead of most companies spending the majority of their budget on a really great advertising campaign, whether it's through commercials or billboards or advertisements, um, which is sort of theoretical, you know, these big brands are hoping that they're reaching their target market, but they're never quite sure. Uh, whereas what we do is we get paid on the back end in the form of a commission for a sale. So everything we do is word of mouth, uh, which is the most powerful form of advertising, as we all know. Um, and we've just found a way to really track that through a very complex computer tracking system that actually even tracks across country borders and, uh, you know, even across different currencies, it's really mind blowing to think about. And I personally experienced this, so I can tell you it does happen. Um, but think about that. Think of it, of it really just as advertising dollars being allocated differently. Um, and I think that does make a lot of sense because we realize when we're going to the department store to purchase cosmetics or beauty products, really any product, um, we the consumers are the ones that are paying for that brick and mortar store, the salesperson that's usually not very helpful or tells us to go buy it online anyway because they don't have what, exactly what we're looking for. Um, we're paying for the marketing and advertising um, as consumers. So products, there's such a high margin on products that are sold in the marketplace to pay for all of those things. So what we do is much more efficient. We go from manufacturer to end consumer. That is it. There's no channels of distribution in between. And we get paid, again, in the form of a commission on the back end for a result or a sale. And uh, we get paid 100% commissionable credit, not a percentage off of a level. Um, so that's very powerful. And you'll see that in a few minutes. But Again, our goal as a brand, what makes us different? Um, you know, there are so many great products out there in the marketplace uh, and really to a point where it can be really overwhelming. So our goal is to sort of save our clients time and save them money by hand selecting the best products in each category, we use over a dozen different manufacturers just for our cosmetic line. So for instance, we're going to get our custom blend cosmetics from one manufacturer, and then we're going to go somewhere else and get our mascara and somewhere else and get our, you know, uh, skincare, of course. So it's, you know, it's really all about, again, saving time, saving money for our clients and making sure that because we don't manufacture anything, we don't have a vested interest to push a product that's no longer relevant. We're really able to move with the marketplace um, and constantly have cutting edge formulas, uh, you know, uh, ingredients that have results behind them because this is an industry that moves fast. Um, I always tell people as a perk or a benefit of working with motives, you know, maybe you are from the beauty industry and really you're just excited about cosmetics. Maybe you're not even really interested at this point in skincare or any of the other products that we have. But what I want to let you know is that as a perk or benefit of working with motives, you're going to have access to thousands of other exclusive branded products at a distributor cost at a discount. So you're not required to purchase them all, but you're going to realize that over time, they're the best of the best too, and you're going to want to, and you're going to be able to better service your clients that way as well. So, you know, of course, people are already spending money on cosmetics. So again, there's tons of great products out there. Ours are in alignment with the best of the best because we are a product broker, but truly what makes us different is that personal service. It's the fact that you know, we want to sit down and learn more about you, what your needs are. We want to offer solutions. We want to, um, you know, adapt to your lifestyle. It's not a one size fits all industry where we're all using the same skincare, the same cosmetic routine. 
So, you know, working with our brand, here are some, you know, unique benefits or points of difference. As soon as you partner, you get an auto-generated uh, welcome email from our, our corporate company, but also from our Motives team with a, what we call a welcome guide attached to that email. And that welcome guide is really going to be, it's almost like a little business manual. So it's a great resource. Um, you're going to have access to our products at a discount. So we earn income two ways through purchasing at a, at a distributor cost and selling at a retail margin. We make money that way, which is about 40% margin on average. It really depends on the product because our, our deals and negotiations with every manufacturer are different. Um, but then the bulk of our income, we get paid about 80% on every dollar we spend in the form of commissions. Um, and you're gonna see how that um, adds up. So really, if you add the 80% we're getting in the form of BV or business volume, that's in the form of a commission, and the 40% that's in the form of an immediate cash flow of retail profit, you know, we're over 100% retail margin markup on our brand, which is what a lot of um, industry professionals are looking for because if you're working in a salon or a spa and you're offering products that's kind of you know you're looking to double your income so we, we do that and then some we have a custom blend line within motives cosmetics where we have a liquid system and a powder system um, that actually has 200 to 300 percent retail margin built in there it's highly customizable it's very high-end product line um, I could go on and on about it but that is definitely a, a key point of uniqueness. Um, and so really our whole line though, we're very cognizant of including colors and formulas that are complementary for every age, skin tone, and skin type. Um, very highly pigmented, so less is best, you can always add more. Um, everything is um, better on your skin than off. I like to say we're very conscious of the ingredients that we use. Um, I mentioned that we use over a dozen different manufacturers and that's because we're using manufacturers that have resources and technology that we want to leverage. So we're using the same manufacturers as a lot of high-end brands in the marketplace. However, even though we're using their resources or their technology, it doesn't mean we have the same exact formulas, colors, or anything like that. So please know that you know our formulas are proprietary to us and our products are unique to us. Um, another huge thing that we're really proud of is that we don't do any animal testing and we don't have any animal byproducts in our line, so we are considered a cruelty-free line. And I did talk about the fact that we're one division of a larger parent company. Um, and I think why it's so important to talk about that is even though motives may be new to you and you know we're, we're over 10 years um, in business as a brand of motives by Lauren Reidinger at this point. And my gosh, that went like in the blink of an eye. Um, but also I want you to know that even though that's you know a respectable amount of time, we've been in business since 1992. So our corporate company is super solid, very ethically and financially sound. We've never had a down quarter in growth in 25 plus years. Um, and you know, I mentioned it earlier, but I want to reiterate that as a perk or benefit of working with motives, you're gonna have access to all these other exclusive branded products that are really going to help you service yourself first and foremost, but also your clients with beauty from the inside out. And what I mean by that is, you know, once you have a strong relationship with a client, and if you work in the industry, this is so natural for you anyhow. Um, but it, you know, they, most people that are spending uh, time or money uh, investing in themselves to look and feel good, they're using cosmetics, they're spending money on skincare, they're getting their hair done, they're probably getting professional treatments for their skin or hair color or otherwise. So, it, you know, it's sort of, um, I think for us, even if you just think about yourself as a consumer, if you have a relationship with someone who you know, like, and trust, and you know that they have your best interests at heart and they understand what your preferences are, you'd rather just deal with them for everything that you can instead of trying to find a dozen different people to meet all your needs. It's a little bit but, um, that can be overwhelming, right? Uh, we also are a global company, like I said, which is really powerful. Now, listen, anytime you're successful, you're doing things the right way, you're taking um, higher ground um, as far as a company and a, group, a leadership team and our executive sales team, um, you know, people try to bring you down. And there's a lot of negative gossip um, from some 
really illegitimate sources, I'll say. So one thing I do want to do is sort of inoculate you um, and let you know that, you know, you may get off the webinar tonight and be super excited about the brand and it makes so much sense to you. Maybe you've tried the product and you love it. If you've not, that would be a great next step. And that's the easy part because our products are the best of the best and they sell themselves. Um, but, you know, it's normal for us to go and share our excitement with people in our immediate circle or sphere of influence and for them to be super negative. Um, it's also a natural thing for us to go on Google and try to search out, you know, uh, anything negative. And I just want to mention that, you know, Google's job is to um, give you what you're searching for. So if you're putting negative search terms into that platform, that's what it's going to show you. Know that you know most of what you're reading online is completely, um, there's no relevance or truth behind it. A lot of the falsities that are published online are from people who have never even had an experience working with our team or our organization or our company, but rather people that are trying to uh, sort of capture traffic from brands and keywords that are growing, that do have success, that have a lot of um, excitement and momentum behind them. And they're trying to capture that traffic and funnel it elsewhere for their own uh, needs. And so we just need to be um, aware of that. Um, I have a little video here I just wanted to share with you on that note. How do you uh, synergize this deal? Well, it, it's a magic combination. First of all, the, the timing of the deal couldn't be better with the uh, migration and paradigm shift to online shopping. <laughs> A large crowd packed day two of the Market America's International Convention at the Greensboro Coliseum today. Market America is all about improving retailing and marketing with the use of the latest technology. It's headquartered in Greensboro and employs people all over the triad and all over the world. It's hard to believe this convention got its start in a small house in Guilford County 26 years ago. Nobody really believed that anybody would ever shop online because people wanted to touch and feel the products. You hit it right on the head. Shop.com is incredible at driving traffic. Market America is the drive behind Shop.com, a website that allows entrepreneurs to sell their own products through their own domain. I knew that this was an organization that paid very close attention to detail and was committed to what they said they were going to do. We're always listening to you. The company is always looking for new ways to simplify, streamline, and standardize the day-to-day -day operations of your business. Our commitment and promise to you to do things right, get better every day, and change people's lives. That's what it's about for us. <laughs> Before this company, I've never heard of Greensboro, North Carolina before. But you know, every time coming in here, flying here, I get emotional because to me now, Greensboro is a symbol of what the dream is made of in our country. It was very hot, but we don't have so many opportunities. So we we really appreciate we have this opportunity. Um, to have uh, to win our life back. TV personality and businesswoman Lala Anthony spoke to the crowd. She's been with Market America for years and loves the encouragement it provides people. I'm super excited to be here surrounded by thousands of entrepreneurs and business people who are trying to change their lives and take control of their lives. So it's an amazing crowd to be around. <laughs> Market America because I believe in the model. Without even going into everything that you've gone through this week, for you to come out here and be this courageous and still lead and let people understand that they can be in business for themselves and do things for themselves is a testament to your true character and what you've done for all of these people. No longer will it be the best kept secret. They will know Market America like they know Coca-Cola and Pepsi. <laughs> think that we're going to, to make waves in the online shopping industry. Uh, we're on a billion dollar roll. <laughs>
Okay, so hopefully that came across the webinar properly. I'm not sure if it did or not. There may have been a little lag, but you get the point. And really, you know, to me, it's it's just it's a lot of credibility. So if you're looking at any true viable resource, you will see um, what type of integrity and success and prosperity uh, this company offers. But it is a business, um, and it's not a scam, and it's not a multi-level marketing company. It's not a get rich quick thing. It's not a paid to recruit thing. Um, you know, if you had to put us in a box, we would be most like a franchise in that everything is standardized um, and duplicatable, and there's a track to run on, and there's a career manual, and there's a proven record of success uh, when you follow the right um, steps. So we have a, a great educational system through our global meeting training seminar system. It's an open education system that you can go to as part of your evaluation process. Um, so just be cognizant of that moving forward. Don't let people, um, you know, shake your tree or try to steal your dreams when you get excited about doing something better for you and your family. Um, so again, you know, we were founded in 1992. We have global operations in these eight markets. Um, but in addition to that, there are hundreds of countries and markets that we can ship product to through our global site. And every um, independent business owner with motives gets um, a plethora of retail sites, actually. But one of them is a global um, shop.com website that will have your exclusive branded products on there. And it's unique to you through your domain name. And you can share that with anyone on a global scale. And um, they'll be able to purchase product and they'll only see on the website what is available to them in their market. So, you know, this is um, sort of uh, cheesy, if you will, but it's it's eye-opening too, you know. So this is a study from the Dorney um, Economic Studies, which was uh, a company that was hired by the Social Security Administration to sort of see where people are at at the age of 65 in the United States of America. I um, mean, it wasn't pretty. You know, they, they found that 95% of people um, at the age of 65 end up um, pretty broke, really. I mean, I think the uh, technical term was financially dependent, but they're either dead, they're still working, or they're financially struggling. Um, no one wants to be in those categories, but yet that's where 95% of people end up in this country. Um, and so I think, you know, we have a very flawed way of thinking and a very flawed system as far as, you know, we don't talk about really um, viable options even like trades you know it's it's like go to school go to college go get your master's get this get that and we're so obese on education and we're lacking real life experience and we're lacking um mentorship and people skills and um Anyway, so I'm digressing totally, but the point is, you know, do something different because what is being stressed out there um, mainstream and through our education program is obviously not getting our country where it needs to go. Um, so only 5% of people are financially fit, meaning they have an ongoing income of a six figure, uh, you know, residual ongoing income where they're comfortable. Um, and so, you know, if you are from the beauty industry or you're someone like me, I mean, I mean, I've been working with our company and with our brands for 15 years now. So, um, what, you know, I, I sort of found myself just through people leading people to people and my personal clients recommending me to talk to their high, their hairstylist or maybe the local spa that is in their town or whoever but people lead to people and you you're going to have industry professionals in your space that come up and they're going to be drawn to our products because of the quality number one number two because of the exclusivity um and you know it's very hard running a traditional business because um you know, it, it, it always starts and stops with you. And so I don't have time to get into this too much tonight. I think most of us are, even if we don't own a traditional business, we're aware that it must be very mentally, physically, financially exhausting at times, even though, of course, there are times that it must be very um, rewarding as well. But I will say in the beauty industry specifically, it's hard to stay relevant because it's constantly changing and evolving. There's new techniques and new products. Um, and in my experience, you know, I think people who work in the beauty industry are some of the hardest working people you'll ever meet. You know, they have incredible people skills. They have a passion for people and servicing people and making them look and feel beautiful. Um, but sometimes they're working so hard and their life is so fast paced that they're not really thinking long term. And also it's incredibly physically laborsome, if that's even a word, um, to do that. So this is something that we can um, empower and educate and, and do alongside of 
new partners um, and with you if you're evaluating a lot of the, the brand tonight with us. And just know that you're in business for yourself but not by yourself. This is designed to be a part-time business in addition to whatever else you're doing. Um, over time, if you follow our, you know, a part-time sort of plan and you're consistent with result producing activities and you're coachable um, within a couple years the goal is that you're going to have a strong ongoing income and then that just gives you options you know maybe you you are passionate about your job but you want to do it more as an advocation or a hobby or you want to be able to maybe you hate your job maybe you want to stay home with your family maybe you need to help raise kids or raise grandkids or take care of your elderly friends or family you know there's we all have a story there's you know I, I just think that money and time give us options and so to me that's what it's all about and that's different for everyone and I don't know what that is for you um, but we're here and um, it's sort of like a why not business we sort of say in any way business because uh, there's really no risk involved. Um, I think the biggest risk is the mental um, risk that you have with yourself, the internal struggle, because this is an entrepreneurial endeavor. And yes, we have a lot of systems and tools and mentorship available. But at the end of the day, it's really up to you to take action. And if you don't take action and do the right things, you're not going to get the results that maybe you're looking for. And some people partner just for something social and as a hobby, and that's okay too. But if you're really looking to build an ongoing Going, um, secure income and something that's sustainable for years and years or even generations to come uh, you know you want to be disciplined and intentional about how you're spending your time so I mentioned this earlier but as a product brokerage company uh, really we have thousands of exclusive products and services um, and we have two categories of products one are exclusive products meaning they're brands and formulas like motives that you can't get anywhere else um, but also we have access because our company is uh, acquired and we're one with shop.com now we do have a whole sort of um, online um, resource as well so there are many stores that we are partners with that we could get um, commissioned through some it's sort of like affiliate marketing you'll see that how the numbers add up in a minute here um, but the most income we can make and really where it's it makes the most sense to spend your time is through using and um, recommending these exclusive branded products which are best in class. Um, I mentioned this earlier but there's two ways to earn income so the first way is you and you're profitable immediately once you partner with this company you have access on your you get a back office you can log in and you can purchase products at a discount and you can immediately turn around and sell it to someone whether it's an online sale or an in-person sale and you can sell it to them um, for that immediate profit margin so let's say you know you went on your back office and you purchased some products and it cost you a hundred dollars you probably not probably the suggested retail on that would be about a hundred and thirty to a hundred and um, fifty dollars and so that thirty dollars to fifty dollars is going to be immediate retail profit in your pocket um, that's the suggested retail if you are a salon or a spa owner or a traditional business owner and you offer services and you want to pair the product with your service you could really price it out whatever you want just as long as it's our uh, sort of standard is we don't want to go under suggested retail we don't want to devalue um, you know the the brand or the business and we want to make sure that people who do rely on retail profit to support their lifestyle and their their household and feed their families that we're not taken away from them by advertising all over the internet and all over town that we sell product for less than the margin that it's suggested so hopefully that makes sense the second way is um, much like a franchise where you can develop um, and coach and mentor two organizations of people um, and that could be in a b2b space it could be an individual um, you you want to put business people in business with one another you're going to see how that works but if you choose to do that um, then you are also eligible to earn commissions um, and you know one thing I just kind of thinking in theory if you will as far as the analogy of being like a franchise let's say you own one Starbucks um, there's really physically only so many people you can service in a day and only so many cups of coffee you can be you know pumping out through your location every day and so if you want to earn income more income than you're making owning a traditional franchise 
usually what you do is open a second franchise and then maybe a third franchise. In fact, there are so many franchises that this is really their whole business model of growing their franchises is to have um, existing franchise owners to purchase more. So like I know one of my, um, my daughter's friends uh, parents, they own three McDonald's in our in our county, and that's sort of how they do it. They'd rather existing franchise owners own more, um, and but it, I mean, it's you know, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of stress. So, but the concept is the same here. If you want to earn more income than you're able to produce yourself, then you need to partner with other people or other businesses, and think of that as an extra outlet of distribution, and you're going to have double or triple the income potential that way. So, I'm going to run through these five steps, and then we're going to wrap it up this evening um, apply with the company create um, volume um, which is really just thinking about products and services that you'd like to use or sell qualifying um, your business through purchasing them and then activating with personally um, partnering with two people that you can build organizations with and then it's just sort of rinse and repeat after that we have two ways to apply okay um, we have a sales rep um, application sort of uh, option, but um, it's more of like a legal necessity. It really doesn't make sense to do that because uh, you're not, you're able to purchase the product at a discount, but you're not able to earn that ongoing commission or that income, which is really the entire uh, sustainability of and profitability of the company. But that is an option. Um, and then the second way is what we're going to spend the rest of the evening talking about. So I'm going to give you an analogy, like I'm going to give our unique steps an analogy of owning a traditional business. So step one for us would basically be, you've gone through an evaluation process, you have gotten all the education you need, you have your questions answered, you've tried some product, you're ready to go, you have people in mind that you wanna get in front of the product as customers and as potential business partners and you're excited and you're coachable and you decide it's ready for you to, to get going. So at that time, and that's a different length of time for everyone, you simply apply with the company. Um, that is $150 and you get um, all sorts of uh, things, but the main uh, benefit is that you have access to what we call your back office, which is a business um, account, and you get a lot of ongoing um, free support materials and marketing materials through your back office. Um, you'll never really need to hire an assistant. It'll track all of your sales, your team's growth. Um, it's incredible. It's, it's too much to talk about in one evening. Um, but as a bonus, um, we're sort of giving you a business in a box. So really the application is really just sort of getting your online business set up but as a bonus or a gift, you're getting um, some products and marketing materials that will um, immediately empower you to be able to host a Beauty Basics event, which is, um, you know, like a, a little workshop or a clinic that anyone can learn how to do. There's guides in there that teach you how to do it. So in a perfect world, you have someone to do it with you. But even if you don't, you could read the outline and the guide that you get with your application and you could... Um, be coachable and read and, and, and do it on your own from that way. And you could immediately have a customer base just by um, having people try the products at that event. So it's an incredible, incredible value. This would be equivalent to, our application would be equivalent to you um, going out into your town and let's say you wanted to open up a, um, a salon. You would go into town, you would find a physical space that you wanted to open and use for your salon. So you either take a mortgage out on the building or you're leasing the building. That's what step one is for us. You apply with the company, you get your online business. That would be like signing the lease paperwork for your salon. You're kind of open for business, but you're not really set up for success quite yet. So step two is creating business volume and BV is the point value assigned to exclusive products like Motives Cosmetics, but also we have so many other complementary products like um, Lumiere de Vie, which is an incredible, incredible skincare line using ingredients from the earth and from the sea to um, give some incredible um, healthy results. We sort of say first aid for the skin. It's an amazing line. We also have a Lumiere de Vie for men. We have Royal Spa is a personal care line um, with lots of different body washes and lotions and shampoos and conditioners and similarly uh, fix, which is more of a solutions oriented hair care line. Um, so again, as a perk or a benefit, you're gonna have access to all these exclusive branded products at a discount. 
Now, step two is really deciding, I'm opening my business, what do I personally want to use or sell? Um, so I use all of these products. Uh, we do have um, like an online assessment, a little bit of a, a questionnaire you can click through to identify what sort of products, what category of products you're already spending money on, and then we'll let you know what exclusive branded products through our company you could purchase from yourself as a replacement. That way, this shouldn't cost you money. The whole goal of this business is you're saving money buying higher quality products at a discount, but you're also able to retail those products to an end consumer and be immediately profitable. So step two is really creating volume, and that's thinking about what products am I going to use or offer to my friends and family or my clientele. Um, so once you decide that, the step two is sort of like a, a decision, then the third step would be to physically purchase those products. We do have some kits available, like if you wanna do custom blending, we have a kit for that. If you are in the aesthetics field and you wanna get pretty much one of every of our skincare products so that you can use and use them in the back bar and offer them to your clients, we have a skincare kit. So there's lots of options on that. We don't have enough time to get into that tonight. Or you could a la carte your starting order with products that you're going to be using in the next 30 to 90 days anyway, just personally in your household. So step three is you physically purchase those products. We're looking for a magic number of 200 BV. Again, BV is business volume and that's a point value associated to every product. Again, it averages about 80% per dollar spent. So let's say you had $100 worth of product. I gave this analogy earlier. That would be about 80 BV that you're um, um, getting along with that order. Um, so that's going to be kind of the number, and this puts you in business as a true viable business, um, and you you can start retailing products immediately. You could, if you are a traditional business owner and you already use a product that you love, let's say it's like our OPC Beauty Blend, which is a vitamin that has, you know, biotin and uh, hyaluronic acid and, and vitamin D, C and E and, and anti, all these amazing things. Maybe you just wanna buy like three or four bottles of that and you wanna just offer it to your clients from day one. You can do that. There's so many options, but you have to, in order to be a true viable business, you have to have product that you're willing to use or sell to an end consumer. Otherwise, you're not a true viable, legitimate business. So that's why we um, are proud to have that requirement in place. And if it doesn't make sense to people to use and sell their own products from their own business, then it's probably, this probably isn't a good fit for them, to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, there's so many options, like I said, you could even host an event and use the sales from that event to capitalize or qualify your business. You could uh, hand select them yourself. Again, in the order um, or in the uh, interest of simplicity and getting the most bang for your buck, we put a kit together called a Fast Start Kit. Um, it's $430 and this has all of the products and all the marketing materials needed to host an It's Your Time to Shine event. And what that is, is a hands-on sort of application workshop. You don't have to be a makeup artist. You're not physically applying makeup on people. What you're doing is you are setting up a um, you know, a dining room table with some placemats that have visuals for your guests and your attendees, and you have, um, you know, product there for everyone to try. And you start, you have a flip chart where you can uh, show people step by step how to use the product. Um, and as the business owner, there's some verbiage on the one side of the flip chart for you to explain what the product is. That on the flip side of the flip chart, uh, your your guests are looking at the picture and the direction, and then you're reading it. So it's very duplicatable. It's very uh, simple and it's very fun and it's very hands-on. So these are options. A lot of professional artists will do this in a salon or spa setting and they may even um, take it to a whole new level. But the point is, if you're someone like myself and you're just looking for a way to be coachable and quickly and efficiently make money, this is setting you up for success. So this Fast Start program does include that $150 application that we talked about earlier. This is a different option. You can either do the 150 application and then hand select 200 BV worth of product. I gave the example of the Beauty Blend. Um, or you could get this Fast Start program, which is $430, but that also does include your application and the 200 BV. So either, either option is fine. Everyone's going to be unique. 
So those three steps are usually done all at one time. Then the last two steps, um, ideally, you while you go through your evaluation process, if you are a guest, you're in the perfect position right now because you're learning and you're evaluating and you're getting information. And the best thing that you can do right now is get other people to evaluate this business with you. Not because they're interested or you think they'll be interested, but simply because you value their opinion. Maybe they love cosmetics. Maybe they work in the industry. Maybe they're just a very successful person. Maybe you think a lot of them for the type of individual they are and they give back to the community. Maybe they're very well connected. But my point is you don't need to get in front of, you know, your negative Nancy neighbor that you have no relationship with. You want to get in front of quality people and ask them for their opinion and have them evaluate this with you. Um, usually when someone's right for the business, they're going to volunteer. They're going to say, oh my gosh, I've tried the product. It's amazing. I've evaluated this business plan. More than likely, you don't understand everything about it the first couple of times you're evaluating the plan, but you could get the idea and the concept and you can share your excitement. So sometimes when you're establishing your business and you're going through steps one, two, and three of apply, create, and qualify, sometimes at the same time, you're going to be activating, meaning you're going to be personally sponsoring two qualified individuals along with you in the same um evening or day or whatever, whenever you're putting time aside to do that. So what that looks like is this. Um, in this example, we're saying Mark and Kate. So let's say Mark is a, a hairstylist at a local salon and Kate is um, um, a woman that you met through your church and you just uh, value her opinion and she knows everybody and she got super excited. It doesn't even have to be about motives. We have so many other products and services across other billion dollar industries within our company. So maybe she's more excited about web um, development and she wants to work in that area, or maybe she's more passionate about health and wellness. You can build a team of people who have a diverse skill set and interest. In fact, that's more powerful because you're really able to diversify your income and leverage one another's time and talent. The point is you don't really know where these people are going to come from, but if you are evaluating tonight and you're a guest, just humor me and think about, you know, make this real for yourself. Think about maybe two people that you would like to be in business with you. And the idea is then you do the same thing with them. You know, they go through the evaluation process. They try products. They're looking at the business plan. They're attending some events. They're attending some trainings. They're getting on the phone and talking to people like myself who have had success in the business and been around a little while. And we can answer those questions. Everyone knows someone that you don't know and people lead to people. And it sort of just unfolds naturally. Now, the really cool thing is that because we're not multi-level marketing, we get paid 100% commissionable credit uh, to infinity on all the volume of product that people are using personally as well as selling. Now, I know this starts to unfold and look a little bit pyramid-ish, right? But the fact is there's no other way to showcase how people lead to people, but why we're not a quote-unquote pyramid, which whatever even that means, I mean, the government's a pyramid, you know, every sales organization is a pyramid, whether it's a car dealership, a realtor, you know, any corporate 500 company, uh, we all understand this, right? There's some sort of organizational structure that unfolds, but something I'm going to point out a few key factors that make us so unique. And this is one of them. Let's say when I first partnered again, Mark was a hairstylist in my town and I met Kate through my Bible study at church. Let's say Mark is a stylist at a local salon, but he has a friend who works at another salon across the country, and that salon is interested in working with motives and bringing it into the salon as an extension of service, offering their clients custom blend. That salon, um, or I messed up the example, let's say I, it wasn't Mark's friend, maybe Megan was Mark's friend that, that worked in a salon, but the point I'm trying to make is that maybe I know someone who owns a salon across the country. We only build two teams. So in multi-level marketing, if I had a third person to sponsor, in this case, I'm showing you the bottom left, it says salon in the gray. Those are personally sponsored. If I have a third person, I'm not building a horizontal team. I'm sponsoring the salon under my existing team and I'm putting them maybe underneath Mark because Mark, um, I'm not from the beauty industry, but Mark is, and I can leverage his credibility as a stylist working in a salon and he can help me mentor this salon that I'm partnering with across the country. Um, so hopefully that point makes sense. And that's just a uniqueness that you'll not find in any other organization. 
the really powerful part of this is that we financially connect people together to have a vested interest in helping each other. So let's say the salon came on board with that fast start program. That's 300 BV they're generating um, with their qualifying order. That's going to credit the salon 100%, but also it's going to credit Chris, Megan, Mark, and myself and my senior partner as well. There's no dilution of percentages off of levels. So that's super pow powerful. Now, reciprocally, um, you know, looking down on the right hand side, um, I ran into a spa. So let's say, you know, um, one of my um, girlfriends in my town recently, Su Lin, recommended me this salon, this spa. Uh, she loves it so much. I asked her, where do you go? Your skin's amazing. She told me, and let's say I go there and they're interested in partnering with me and having access to exclusive branded products because that's sort of non-existent in the beauty industry now. So I personally bring on this spa in my town. I'm going to put that underneath Kate, who I met through Bible study, because I want her to help me build an organization of women who want to support and um, empower each other. So maybe in this example here, maybe Kate personally sponsored a beauty school. Um, you know, whoever she knows may run the beauty school or work at the beauty school and that we can, we can work with a B2B space as well as an individual. So Kate may have personally sponsored the beauty school and the beauty school may have personally sponsored Ryan, but I personally led to the spa and really we just put business down underneath the deepest person or the deepest person in our organization so you never really know where you're going to be placing the spa it's really just under the the most recent newest person is where it goes so um hopefully this is making uh, sense to you and again that volume flows up 100 percent to credit everybody okay so this system basically every friday night at midnight it's doing this search and it's starting from the bottom and working its way up. So in multi-level marketing, it starts at the top and works its way down and it credits the people at the top, make all the money, and then it's percentages off of levels until eventually there's nothing. We are opposite. We start at the bottom, we credit, we make sure that everyone's getting credit down there and it flows up 100% to all people um, partnered along the way. So I'm just going to show you how the numbers make sense and then we're, we're done this evening. So um, again, people lead to people. Now we are smart individuals, right? So we realize that, um, yes, I love motives, but as a perker, a benefit of working with motives, our company has a cleaning brand called Snap. It's eco-friendly, it's non-toxic. I love the laundry soap, the dish soap, the cleaning products. So I am no dummy. I running a household, I'm spending a lot of money to run a household. So I'm gonna buy that product. Does it really excite me? Well, kind of, because I like a clean house, but not exciting me to the point where I'm going to go and showcase it and try to sell it to people. But as a smart businesswoman, I'm going to buy it for myself at a cheaper cost because every product that we have exclusivity to, like Snap Cleaning Product, that pays me BV as well. So let's say I buy a $100 um, worth of cleaning products. I'm going to get 80 BV for that. That's going to credit me. I'm also going to purchase coffee from myself because we have exclusive coffee that's healthy called Trim Cafe. It's one of my favorite products. We have skincare that I'm going to purchase from myself. We have bath products for our children. So we're sort of just converting our spending from our household into earning through our pay plan. So you're really able to maximize your payout, not just through Motives Cosmetics, but through all our complimentary products. So you can see how with this salon or spa or beauty school, how that's going to add up very quickly because they're doing even higher volume worth of product. But here's the point I'm trying to make. Maximize your payout. Don't be silly and be loyal to some brand like Tide in the grocery store because they're not paying you an income. And ours is a better pro product and it's cheaper and you can pay yourself by buying it and you can fuel your compensation plan which is going to pay money for you and your family it's going to pay your bills it's going to be your vacation fund it's going to be your kids christmas fund you know it's so important um, to have that mentality if that doesn't make sense to you then this probably isn't a fit for you you know but it is all about timing I'm not saying from day one you need to buy every single product that we offer. I'm just saying be open to it. And as you run out of what you have at home, replace products 
at, as you run out of them with our exclusive branded products. Anything that we don't offer exclusivity, we have affiliates on shop.com that you can buy them and get um, cash back and or commission from them. So again, um, we get uh, these uh, tracking happens every Friday night at midnight. So weekly, it's, a, it's sort of accumulating volume and we don't, there's no end of month. That's another uniqueness. So our uniqueness is you only build two teams. So you have to personally sponsor people under one of your two teams, even if you sponsor more than two, which is the goal. You never want to stop expanding distribution. Um, but you only need two to activate and be eligible for commissions. Um, so the other uniqueness is that there's no end of month, meaning our volume rolls over week after week, month after month, until we hit a threshold. And so it's not a matter of if you get paid, but rather when. So once you're activated with your two partners, you are eligible to start earning commissions and you can track through your back office when these points are at which level. So you're going to sort of, you can place volume um, within your organizations. You can see what your team members are doing and how your volume is accumulating. Once you're at 12 and 12, you're going to earn a $300 commission check. Now, that doesn't ever unfold perfectly. It could be like 1,230 BV on one side and maybe 1,200 and or maybe 1400 BV on the other side. What happens to that extra is it continues to accumulate and roll over to the next threshold. So let's say maybe it took you three months when you first partnered, maybe it took three months to accumulate 12 and 12 because you had to go find some partners, you're starting to get some customers. So it took a little bit of time, but maybe so maybe in your first three months, it took you to build this organization that you see. Now, after that, now you have all these people in place, they're using product, they're selling product, they're leading to more people. You can see how the process goes faster and faster. So more than likely, maybe it's going to take two months to hit that next threshold of 2,400 and 2,400. Um, again, it's never perfectly at 2,400. So any of the excess rolls over to the next um, threshold, which is 3,600. As you can see, for increments of 1,200, you're getting a $300 commission check. The last threshold we have is actually 1,400 points instead of 1,200 points, but you're doubling your commission, and that's a $600 commission, that last threshold. So going through the pay cycle one time earns you $1,500 in commissions on BV, which is business volume for our exclusive branded products like Motives that you can't buy anywhere else. Then and only then does this sort of um, clear out and set back to zero and it starts to accumulate again and it'll go faster the second time, okay? So um, the green is showing you IBV and that's gonna be your affiliate marketing through shop.com with our internet BV. So think of like for me, I love boxed.com. We get paid 6.6% .6 um, IBV. So if I make a $200 on box.com, that's sort of like a Costco for pantry items. Um, so it's sort of bulk items. So usually I'm doing a $200, $300 order on boxed when I'm doing an order there. So that would get me about 12 BV or IBV. Not setting the world on fire, but it accumulates. And if we all commit to purchasing from ourselves, you can imagine how it accumulates faster and faster. I also love shopping at Kohl's, at Macy's, at Old Navy. They are all partner stores um, that offer us um, the IBV as well, which is the um, same sort of commission structure. It just goes a little bit slower because the percentages are maybe 5 to 20% instead of 80% like our BV exclusive products. The biggest, highest return on investment for us are our exclusive branded products. So that's where we want to start transferring our buying habits. But anything else that we are shopping for, we can purchase through partner store products. I also live on a little farm. I have three children. So I'm very impressed that actually no one's busted in here quite yet to interrupt me. Um, so I'm a very busy woman. Um, so we have tractor supply. We get our, you know, our chicken food for our chickens on there. You can get dog food, cat food. Um, you know, really wherever you're shopping, more than likely that's an affiliate and you can go to shop.com first. So I'm digressing and I'll have too much time to talk about that, but here's a visual of what I'm saying. So as your organization expands, the frequency of commissions earned 
increases until it happens weekly, and that's the goal. And in this example, your weekly maximum payout on commission for both BB and IBB is going to be $3,000 per business development center. So three times four weeks a month is $12,000 per month in commissions. That's how we pay 100%, by the way, when a lot, if you're having that um, question, like how does the company pay 100% um, on the volume to infinity without running out of money, it's because we cap every business development center at getting paid on 5,000 and 5,000 in volume. Um, now, you can earn as much money as you wish by owning and opening a second, third, fourth, however many business development centers sort of like however many franchises, however many outlets of distribution you want to own, you can own, sky's the limit. Um, the kicker and the uh, the benefit is that you um, are putting your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth business centers underneath your existing business partners and you're solidifying everything um, all over again. This really generates a lot of sustainability and this is how our income is so um, strong in an ongoing cycle is because we want to help our, our business partners succeed. And our goal is to help them be successful and make money because we get commission 100% on the volume of product they're moving and selling. So we are able to earn a management bonus. Um, and so in this example, what we're trying to demonstrate is that when someone on your left team and someone on your right team goes through that same threshold of 5,000 and 5,000 BB the same week you do, you get a $600 commission check. Um, and so uh, when that happens, if Mark is producing 5,000 and 5,000 BB, that's 10,000 in volume that's rolling up your left side, you're only getting paid 5,000 on that volume. Um, and that is, again, how we don't run out of money, but that is security and sustainability in your business. Um, and you'll see how you can double, triple your income. Um, but that, you know, is the truest form of uh, financial freedom is to empower people within your organization to make as much money as they're willing to or wanting to based on their personal goals and their willingness to be coachable and do the result producing activities. Now, um, this last um, illustration hopefully excites you. It may also confuse you and that's okay. It took me like four to five um, evaluations of this marketing um, model here before I really got it, but I understood the concept the first time. When you partner, so in an effort thus far, we've shown you just getting paid on one business development center, which you're maxed out at $3,600 per week. Most of us, you know, the more money you make, the more money you earn, but also at this point, you know what you're doing, you're having fun, you're having success, you're getting referrals, and you really can't stop the momentum. So you're gonna wanna build more business development centers because you want to help more people uh, take control of their financial freedom. Um, and also you wanna double and triple your income, why not, right? So when you do get started with the company, you get three business development centers. You still only focus on two teams. In this example, Mark and Kate, um, my stylist friend and my, my girlfriend from Bible study. Now, you're still only focusing on two teams. You're still building your 001 center. But now the benefit is once you're maxed out at your 001 center, because I've done a great job coaching and mentoring Mark and Kate. They don't really need me so much anymore. Everything's self-sustaining. I'm interested in more partners and more money. So I partner with a dance studio that my daughter attends, and I'm going to activate my second business development center by only sponsoring one extra person because by default, I've half built my 002 center with mark just by focusing on my one i half built my two and half built my three so when i want to double my income i only have to sponsor one person to double my income instead of sponsoring two people if that doesn't make sense it's okay but the point is when you partner with our company you are set up with three business development centers all of which have a weekly earning potential of thirty six hundred dollars okay now, again, income is limitless. You can own as many as you want, but if you choose to open more, they would just go underneath your existing team, as I mentioned earlier. But if you think about it, if you're maxing out $3,600 per business development center and you've got three, that's $10,800 per business development center. 
um, I mean, for the trio that you get started with. Um, and that's per week, okay? So that's super exciting. So that's $43,200 per month that you are able to earn from when you first start because you have three centers. Now it takes time to build those centers and find those partners, of course, but that's your earning potential on three centers is $43,200 per month if they're all maximum um, capacity, if you will. But again, you can earn more income than that. We have many people who do. Should you decide to open a fourth business development center, you see where that goes. It goes under your existing organization. Um, there's lots of technique on identifying when and how to do that and your senior partners can help you. Um, but really that's, you know, what I wanted to show you tonight. Um, you know, this, I don't love this slide to be honest with you um, because really it's just, to me, there's no decision to make. Um, and we certainly don't wanna talk you into something you're not ready to do, or maybe it's not gonna be a good fit for you and it's gonna be a waste of our time. We don't wanna waste our time. We don't wanna waste your time. That's the one thing that we all have the same amount of and we can't get back. We wanna use it wisely. Um, so if it's something that you're intrigued by, even if you are confused, maybe you have some doubts about your abilities or the company, that's fine. That's normal. There's ways that we can kind of uh, continue to answer your questions and take you through the evaluation process. Maybe you've been evaluating the business. You've tried product. You're ready to roll. Like you're super excited. You want to get your account started ASAP. Let whoever invited you um, on the webinar know that so that they can help get you rocking and rolling. Um, but you know, the point is whether it's this or something else, you're open-minded, you're looking for a reason. Maybe you're just helping out a friend by evaluating, or maybe you really want something different in your life. Maybe you need to pay off some credit card debt. Maybe you just want more out of life. You see other people have it and you wonder why not me, right? Um, so, you know, there's, again, no decision to make right at this time, although if you are certain one way or the other, maybe you're like, no, this lady's crazy, this is all nonsense, it's okay, you can politely walk away, we won't judge you, it's fine, in fact, we'll thank you for saving us time in the long run. Um, but again, I just want to uh, congratulate you for taking a chance on looking at something different. Um, and I wish you the most uh, success and happiness moving forward. And if there's anything that I can do to help, um, please let me know. And um, I hope to meet you someday soon. Good night.